What's going on guys? Chu here bringing you another review on Attack on Titan. This episode, goodness gracious, things are just getting better every episode. But with this one, we actually get to see the conversation between Levi and Zeke where they're talking about uh, how there's not much time. Zeke is just kind of like playing at it. This dude, I'm ready for him to be in action. But Levi, we get to see a little deeper dive on his mind and we see how he just hates that he's had to sacrifice all these all these things and people in order for the greater good and finding out that now Zachary is dead. Things are just not looking good. And back, I guess you could say in the city where things are just only getting worse. But we then get to see what goes on with the family, uh, Sasha's family, where they're finally at the restaurant. Nicolo is ready to serve him some food, and he notices that there are a lot more kids than he expected. Uh, but we see how Kaya kind of goes along with Ben and Mia, aka uh, Gabby and Falco, where we see that it's like, that's, that's the guy right there, Nicolo. Go follow him. He should be able to help you out with trying to find a way home and so that makes it their objective we see that they want to go and find this guy but we also get to see that at the same time Hanji and the squad is showing up and we see this little interchange exchange excuse me between uh, John and Nicolo where John wants to drink some of this wine that apparently the higher-ups have been drinking Nicolo gets all defensive and he just kind of plays the uh, race card when he's like Oh, and you Eldians shouldn't be touching this wine. This wine is too much. It's like, whoa, man, chill out. You know, you don't need to be going to that point. And it's like, why? What are you going to do? I'm just a purse uh, uh, or like basically a slave here. And so, you know, we, we see this situation where Niccolo is acting strange. He takes the wine away with him. And we see him then serving the kids. And we see how Ben and Mia go right then and there to try to find about Niccolo and things just go south because we actually have them revealing everything that they know about the situation. They talk about how they got on board the aircraft and Niccolo starts to put everything back together like realizing who these kids are in reality and we find out from Gabby's mouth that she in fact was the one that killed Sasha and Nicolo loses it. We actually see him going berserk at hearing this information because he then uses the same wine bottle and hits it on Falco's head, which was intended for Gabby, of course. But we see that this hits him, basically busts his head and just, poor kid. I mean, he had nothing to do. Falco has been one of the most innocent kids throughout this whole series. And I feel bad for him. Really, I truly do. And we then have uh, Gabby getting knocked the hell out again. And we have Niccolo just running up to the Blouse, the Blouse family and telling him what has happened. And it's crazy because we see the he has a knife holding up to Falco's head. And that poor Gabby at this point is about to like possibly die as everyone hears this information. We hear like them just being very upset and we even have like the scouts showing up on time trying to stop the situation and we have freaking Sasha's dad just going up and getting the knife from uh, Niccolo which he kind of just uses this chance to get the knife away and he actually talks about how he raised Sasha how Sasha was in the woods hunting and that's how she was and he kind of gives it the same comparison, saying that, yes, she became a soldier, she went, went out of the forest, but she basically went to another forest, which is a bigger world. The world got bigger, and she went to other lands, and she would, you know, kill people there, and it, and it became that it was no different than when it was when they were in the woods, because we actually see that, you know, that it, it really, the world... Sometimes, you know, it's, it's big, but it's not as big as we think because we actually have her being killed and that's how the situation ends sometimes. Uh, Gabby is in complete sh and utter shock about how the demons are treating her, which she calls them that. And we have 
uh, Kaya just reacting very quickly and trying to see if she could stab her. But we have Mikasa protecting Gabby and therefore taking Gabby away. Kaya is in tears. The whole family is broken right now. Niccolo apologizes for trying to kill a child. Uh, but we have Nicola also revealing that this wine is actually tainted and that it was given to others. So what makes it even crazier was that Flotch shows up and he actually reveals that he knew about this. He knew about the plan. He wanted to know where Zeke's location was at. Hanji was adamant of not giving it to him. And things are just bad as well because Aaron shows up. And we have Aaron getting to where Fal uh, excuse me, where Armin, Mikasa, and Gabby are at. And you just feel bad for him because he's looking at them and saying, I just came here to talk. Well, we all know things are getting bad and it's, it's only getting worse. <laughs> like, truly, it's getting worse. F Flock was leading the group and he ends up leaving, taking Hanji with him. And so... It's just going to be crazy. And so, hell, hell of an episode, truly. And what's going to be happening in next episode is just going to be even crazier. So, expect more pandemonium for the next episode. But overall, though, I got to say, this one was a great one. I really enjoyed it. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts. I'd love to know what you guys think in general. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It greatly helps out the channel. And as always, though, take care of yourselves and others, and I'll catch you later.